fiber optic ENT endoscopy. So, with this fiber optic ENT endoscopy, we can visualize the whole upper airway, which includes nasal cavity, the part behind the nose, which is called the nasopharynx, and the part behind the tongue, as well as the voice box and both sides of the voice box. This whole area can be completely examined with the help of a fiber optic ENT endoscope. Now, with this, with the help of an endoscope, we can come to a diagnosis as well as it is of therapeutic use also. In the sense, when you do the endoscopy, if you happen to see a pus in the nasal cavity, with this endoscope under visualization, we can take the cult, uh, pus for culture sensitivity uh, so that it can be useful for treatment. Now, this endoscope, we have two types. One is a portable one, other one is which is fixed to the room, in a specific endoscopy room. The one which is there in the fixed to the endoscopy room, suppose we want to shift it, the whole endoscopy unit has to be shifted. The other one is portable endoscopy, which is the size of a, which is kept inside a small suitcase, where it is a portable one. Now, you have endoscopy, you can, you will have, ad, uh, we have adult endoscopy as well as pediatric endoscopy. The difference between the size of the diameter of the endoscope. Coming to the endoscope preparation. Now, before doing an endoscope, we have to anesthetize the nasal cavity as well as behind the tongue. So, this can be done in two ways. Either you can spray directly in the nasal cavity, both nasal cavity, like how it is shown in the, in the video here, or you can apply the medication in cottonoids, which can be placed in the nasal cavity, as you will see now. The nasal end, the endo, flexible endoscopy, it can be done in the lying down position or in sitting position also. So, here you see that I am going to play the medicated cottonoids in the nasal cavity. So, when this is going on, I will tell, I will be explaining to the patient that the whole procedure will be done in 10 minutes and you will not find much of discomfort and be comfortable and I will instruct him that when you start the endoscopy, kindly breathe through the mouth, open your mouth and breathe normally and once after a few seconds, try to breathe through the nose as instructed. Then in a particular moment, I will be telling him to open the mouth and open the mouth and protrude his tongue and after that, he has to say word E multiple number of times and cough also and turn his head to the left and right. So, the, all this I will explain to him before starting the procedure. So, this is a nasal endoscope. I have cleaned the nasal endoscope tip with an anti fork so that the, the picture here is very clear, the video here is very clear. So, I am examining the endo, endo, with the endoscope the both the nasal cavity and before proceeding, I will remove the the cottonoids. So, one cottonoid removed, this is the second one which is removed. Sometimes you need to do a, some su suction, otherwise it is ok. So, we are proceeding with the endoscope, he has to open his mouth and breathe now, that is what he is doing. So, you can see in the monitor, I am examining the nasal cavity, proceeding towards the part behind the nose which is called as the nasopharynx. So, once I reach the nasopharynx, I will instruct him to breathe through the nose. Why? Because so that the part here opens up, so that I can proceed. I will be instructing him now. So, once that is open up, the endoscope will be proceeded down to the oral cavity, oropharynx which is, which is behind the tongue and ask him to protrude the tongue like this, so that I can examine the area behind the tongue as well as the area which is called as the valicula. Once that is done, I would like to have a look at the voice box. So, that time I will examine for the movement of the vocal cords. Both the vocal cord is there in a mass lesion or anything and the vocal cords, both the vocal cords are moving normally and now if it, he is saying the word E and I will next I will instruct him to turn to the right side, so that I can examine the part which is on the both sides of the voice box. When he turns to the right, the left side part gets in, getting opened up. Next, I will instruct him to the turn to the left side, so we can see the other side being opened up. Here, see, this side is getting opened up. Here. Now, 
now the endoscope will be slowly taken out, taken out under vision so in this video i'll show you the endoscopy alone so this is a nasal cavity proceeding towards the part behind the nasal cavity this is the part behind the nasal cavity now he'll be instructed to breathe through the nose so that this part opens up i'll proceed down behind the palate so this at this moment he'll protrude the tongue so that i can examine these two parts which will open up next i will have a look of the vocal cords the voice box the movement of the vocal cord <coughs> any lesions in the vocal cord any color changes next i'll instruct him to turn to the left and right so when he turns this is a movement of the vocal cord now he is turning to the right so the left part this part is opening up now he is turning to the left side see now it is closed now it will get opened up now watch see now it's getting opened up here so that has been examined now if you see the vocal this is a vocal cord both the vocal cord movements so for this patient it is fine both the vocal cords are looking appearing normal and the moment both the vocal cords are mobile so this is how we do an uh, fiber optic ent endoscopy so after the procedure we will like we will advise the patient not to eat or drink for next 20 to 30 minutes especially something hot because once you anesthetize the area some of the medication will drip down towards the oropharynx so suppose you happen to take something hot you will not realize that it will burn that area so this is the only simple instruction which is given after the procedure so this is an outpatient procedure there is no special pre uh, preparation for it or any precaution for it so the patient walks into the opd we do the endoscopy in the opd or, or in the endoscopy room and he goes back home back within 20 to 30 minutes the whole procedure takes less than 10 minutes so with the same endoscope we can do other procedures like suppose the patient has got a sleep apnea some maneuvers can be done to come to a diagnosis whether the patient has got sleep apnea or not or suppose he has he has got uh, uh, any other problem also so like swallowing problem also we can do a swallowing study the preliminary swallowing study also can be done with this endoscope so this is all about fiber optic ent scopy thank you so much